Good morning, beauties. <sighs> Hope you're having a wonderful day. I wanted to talk a moment about your psychic abilities. I'm talking about like clairvoyance, clear audience, clear sentience. And we all have these abilities, but most of us have shut them down. Um, a lot of children, small children, are more in tune with these, but their parents, their teachers tell them, oh, that's just your imagination, that's not real. So they learn that it's not socially acceptable to have these gifts, so they turn them off. So we all have these abilities, and we can all develop them, um, and a great way to develop them is through meditation and connecting to your higher self or your Christ self, and you begin to channel that information for yourself into your own life. Now, one of the reasons why we are able to tune in in this way is because of all the, the background noise, so to speak. Um, you know, all of the, the busyness, the distraction, the negative emotions, all kinds of things that are preoccupying our minds, constantly bombarding us. So we just can't get still enough to tune in and really see, hear, feel. So a great practice is just to spend at least five minutes a day meditating, quieting your mind so that with the intention to really tune in and you can begin to get those answers that you need or want for yourself. A lot of people go to a psychic or a medium and they want them to tell them what to do and give them advice and guidance. But the truth is, you can tune in for yourself and get your own inner guidance. And it's actually safer that way because sometimes they're tuning in, you know, perhaps you're caught up in some negative thought or emotion right now and they're tuning in, they're getting it like an energy imprint of what's going on with you now. And so they may predict something negative in your future. But the truth is, we don't have to be limited by any negative thought, belief, or prediction. Because if there's something that we don't like, then we can simply, through our intention, change it. Because the ultimate truth is perfection everywhere now. When we are talking about those higher levels of Christ consciousness, pure oneness, on that level, everything is perfect. So if, if you hear something that's not perfect, then that just means that you get to clear out whatever's your limiting belief or negative emotion that's keeping you from connecting to that perfection. So you're not subject to other people's um, you know, psychic impression of you, you're in charge. And so taking matters, being in control yourself, getting that information for yourself from that highest level is really what's recommended. Um, and the more, of course, that you do clear um, your negative emotions and things like that, then that message is going to come through a lot clearer, not clouded by all of that fear, that worry, things like that. So, there are some safeguards that we will be talking about later because when you start tuning into those other realms, there's not only perfection, there's not only Christ consciousness, there's not only purity, there are other negative things in the astral realm. And you do need to know how to protect yourself against those. Not out of fear, but just out of awareness so that you're always in control. Um, I hope that makes sense you really can start to live in that connected way. When you clear all that stuff out, you meditate and you make that connection really strong and clear. And then you can just begin to live in that connected place and be in the flow in your life. So I'm just here to let you know that you have your own psychic abilities. They may be dormant, they may be latent, but you can develop them once again you don't need to rely on somebody else, think that they're special, they have something that you don't, you have it as well. You just need to tune in and remember that you do. I love all of you and I will see you very soon. Namaste.